Hello and welcome to the Blackout Podcast where I get to talk to amazing people who do amazing things. And today, I've been trying to get this one to happen for a long time, actually. Yeah. Um, super talented artist, songwriter, my friend, The B. Thanks so much for coming to the podcast today. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my God, it's been so long yep. since I've been behind a camera. Behind? In front? In front of a camera. Yeah. yeah. This feels like so... Yeah, so uh, yeah. we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> First off, I want to go back to Music Week. Um, your performance, of course, killed it, loved it. It was a great experience. Yeah. And I was like, I was going to volunteer because me, I'm cheap. I don't like to buy tickets. <laughs> but I was going to volunteer. And I, I was like, I was like, I'm going to, you know, volunteer. But then I'll try and make sure I was playing the, I was, you know, volunteering in the venue you were singing and mm-hmm. I was lucky enough to get it. So tell me, when you're preparing for a festival like Music Week, what are some things you do to get ready before and during like the actual performance itself? I feel like performance-wise for Music Week, there's like obviously practice, 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 practice. But aside from that, even like getting like my outfit ready, that's something that I'm very intentional about because mm-hmm. it just kind of puts me in the comfortable zone to like do the performance, like mm. just having that. And then, yeah, just trying to always remember to have fun. That's really about it. I don't try to put too much emphasis on it where it then becomes a big deal and something that I have to like nervous about kind mm. of yeah you have this collection of songs i always wonder how do you pro like how do you plan your set list because it's as if you know there was a time you're singing up there and then there was a time you're sitting down because the song was slow and then you picked it up like how do you plan yeah. your set list oh my god that was the first time so like basically like a couple of the songs i performed then like they're not out yet so that was oh. the first time i was performing a couple of them so it was really nice that particular set the way it flew together it was really nice it just gave me an idea of like how to even do more with it in the future but mm-hmm. like yeah that was like really just putting songs together that i felt go together like being like a dj fianny was my dj but like i put the set list together <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 so um let's let's rewind just jump into this time machine jump way back and say at what point you were like okay cool i'm gonna be a singer now like is that something you've always wanted to do or i know i like the same i ask myself the same question because it's like we're still all just trying to figure stuff out right but singing has always been like has always played a major role in my life I like every stage I can remember like there's always been some form of singing and I feel like it was so nice to like pick that back up but pick it up in like a me theme now because I started writing songs like way back like in secondary school but like it was never a thing that I pieced together like okay I've written songs I sing like I probably should like try to put these two things together and be like, okay, can I write songs for myself? It was just something that I enjoyed the music space. I'd be in the music space with my friends and like do music, put my input here or there, but I never really like honed in on it. Like, okay, let me actually be serious about this. And yeah, it was just like, just a thing that just happened. And it was like something that I felt personally that, if I never pursued, I would regret in some kind of way. So mm. it's like, it's best like I pursue and pursue it like head strong, like fast and like, you know. What was the point when you made that decision that, okay, I'm just going to do it? That was like, I'd say COVID into, so like, it's very COVID, fresh. COVID, COVID. Yeah. What, what, what happened in COVID so, that made you decide to? So like prior to, like prior to COVID and then like 
during COVID. COVID only provided me with like time and like time to myself, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Like COVID did more harm than <laughs> Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but prior to that I had already written like one or two songs. Then so like that year, like basically I spent like writing like writing more, trying to like figure out my own style of writing and like something that I knew like, okay, I could build on, but like, this is the direction I want to go in and it's not going to waver too much from like this point of view. It could grow, it could evolve, but like, mm. this is the direction I'm going to. So like, that was what that year really was for me to figure that out before I actually jump into it. Like, that was like the docs, putting my docs and stuff. So then I brought out, no, then I started like I continued writing and started doing like more um, music videos on the internet. Cause prior to that, like I didn't really have, like I had one or two, like I posted just like, cause music was just something that was a part of me. So like, why not have that on my Instagram? But like after that, like I started putting out more like music content and like, so that people would like even get familiar with the mm -hmm. idea that like, this is something I'm about to like, pursue right and then 20 21 20 no 2021 i started like recording here or there like not even still anything seriously yeah then posting the videos then last year i dropped my first project mm. yeah. okay uh, that that's like this step by step from like okay i can write or i'm gonna put it together and mm -hmm. you know i'm gonna take this serious to actually putting the uh, um project out how do you decide the songs that got on our project and what did or what was the what was behind the um, decision to put it out um i feel like There's like songs that I wrote that just did not really fit. Like it had to, like there's a feel for me. Like you experience like the performance at um, Music Week, but like there's a feel for me. So like the songs that did not even get there, it's not like they're never going to be put out, but it was more like it was not like the right cut. And it's like, I do have like friends and like people in the music space that I, do, I bounce ideas off of, but like at the end of the day right now, I'm still very much of an independent artist. So like a lot of decision making mm. still kind of fall on me. So yeah. You, you decide what you're <laughs> going to do. Okay, cool. That's not a bad place to be though. Yeah. I, I'm curious now, do you have a process when it comes to writing your songs? Um, I feel for right now, I'm doing writing more so in a body of work way versus like a single way like even if i'm writing like one song like most likely i'm like looking at it more so in a body of work isn't way. that more difficult though like because now you're it's like you're building this big house and then you're like okay i'm just gonna yeah, like focus. this is going to be like yeah room and this exactly looks like a kitchen. but like at the end of the day like my main scope is like this is still supposed to be a house it's not supposed to be like a, that is so much yeah. work though because you always have to think of the big thing in the scale of doing this small thing well there's that but like i also feel like if i'm already like there like uh, i'm already like yeah. it's a house i'm building right. i don't want to think about like right right other right things. and it's not even a situation that i could not write something like that was awful like that's when those kind of situations happen and then you have to make the cut and it's like this doesn't feel yeah very... it's not part of this house yeah, it's part of yeah. that other house <laughs> but then you keep it for that yeah, house when it's, it's like, ready it has a house it could fit in so just not this house yo kind of i'm so jealous of you people that can write songs you just make it look so easy i don't think it's easy to write a song because it's like first off you have to think of them uh, what comes know. first for you is it like the lyrics or the beats or well more more so i've written with like just listening to the beats first because like i've done like scouting for like beats and stuff like i really love to work like in like work with processes where like 
the beats are being developed or like different or like just even like creating something with like an actual band or something like that but like those things are like still like kind of opportunities that i'm open to but like so far it's more like bits on youtube and like bits from like people i know like producers i know and like i got to work with tempo this year so like i got to work with some of his bits but like mostly i've worked with like already like produce like my beats and stuff and so okay so you get the th- song you listen to it, you listen listen to it. To it. what yeah. comes first like verse hook what i don't know it's just like what comes comes oh, okay for the most part but like personally i always go melody first a mm. lot of times like i sit down and write my lyrics because like i'm very particular about that so. yeah you tell a lot of stories and some of your lyrics are too sp- personal though like, <laughs> <laughs> like what the f- what like how i mean i don't know if the things you sing about are experiences you've had but this seems so real like how, why that's like the whole like idea of it like the whole point of the stories that that's supposed to be real they're not necessarily supposed to be my stories but they're supposed to like be real stories mm. and i hope i can keep writing on that like it's not every it's not always going to be like serious, like Fair there's dancing, enough. there's like, yeah, you know. Yeah. But, but to even say, even the dancing songs, there are still some lyrics like, ah, okay. Yeah. But yes, you're dancing to it, but you're like, yeah, mm, this is... there's still like some thoughts, <laughs> like I like that, I like yeah, that. Yeah, Because honestly, that's the vibe like I was going for, so it's nice hearing it from someone else. Too. Yeah, no, 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 I, I listen to them like... Oh, obviously i'm envious that you can make it look so easy and, and then you know bring it out and write it okay so you get a beat put it together i i get i get the beat and then mostly mm. i come up with melodies so it's just like hummings and melodies to the beat and most times i sit down and like listen to it scrap some off and write to that mm. yeah huh. okay Oh, okay, so now you go record it. How do you know that the song is ready, it's done, this is it? I don't know if you ever really know. <laughs> I don't know if you ever really know, honestly, because, like, as an artist, you're, like, creating stuff, right? So, and it's, like, it's very, very open to interpretation by, like, everybody, so the people that are going to tell you it's done or like it still needs this so it still needs that. I just feel like you get to a point where you're just okay with inviting the world to see the art. So like you're just okay with people invading that space, I guess. Exactly. You you, you talked about, you know, you send song or you have people in the music space that you trust mm-hmm. and you send stuff out to how do you know which one to... Because, you know, you've done the song and then someone's like, oh, maybe you should change this one. How do you decide which one to, I guess, follow and which one to like, nah, that's not... I don't know. It's, I feel like I'm still, like, at the point where I'm waiting to, like, you know, I would love to have management. I would love to have, like, those kind of things. But, like, at the point that I am where, like, a lot of decisions still follow me is, like, I do, like, take the first... Thing first, like if someone did come to tell me, oh, this thing, how about we do it this way? My first take is, let's hear it. Right. Cause like you never know, right? And I don't, I don't know. I did it this way. You think it'll sound better that way? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Like then we make the decision from the two of them, cause we can now both hear it, and you know. So the actual recording, do you have a process for when you're like, how do you prepare when you're going to record, and how do you? get gets yourself ready to do the actual recording i feel like recording is something that like i don't have a studio myself or like so it's like a situation like when i get it by the neck i get it by the neck and i go and record like i don't like (laughs) this is it we have this studio now so let's just go make it happen it's like that is what it is and yeah there are studios here and i'm still like i feel like i'm just getting into the music scene here in general like so like those things will come but yeah like i mentioned like i recorded with tempo like so i'm getting to know like a couple places here but yeah so um you are nigerian and and like <laughs> what are some of the influences of your music you make right now 
I feel like with Nigerian artists, like there's a couple before me, like Tiwa Savage and you know, Thames and all of them. And as much as like I feel like I draw a lot of influence, even from the male artists, not just the female, as long as as much as I draw a lot of influence from me, like I still try to not be too much in spots where like I feel like okay this is how this person makes music so this is how I should make music mm. but I enjoy like all their songs yep yeah um like it's giving me a lot of inspiration to even like even want to pursue like Afro R&B or like here is a little bit bold I would say because like the audience is there, but like I feel like those audiences are more so like in the US or like the UK internationally versus like here in Canada and like in Halifax. <laughs> yeah. Well, but but I, I I'm saying like you know you're building this space for yourself and it's growing, so that's yeah. something. But um, uh, talking about all these artists that you know influence you or not, um. Actually, I know what I'm going to ask. The name, the bee, what's the, what's the story there? The bee is just like, what's my cup? The bee is just like, um, it's just something like my friends just that are calling me and it just stuck because I don't know if it's very obvious from just me, but like I'm not a very stressful person. So like I didn't really... Like, I wouldn't come up with a name that would just feel, like, so, like, out of me. Like, if someone said the B or BB, because BB is what they call me at home, mm -hmm. like, I would turn, I would answer. So, like, it just already felt like my name. So, it was just, like, yeah, it just stuck. Yeah, I mean, oh, wait, it, must I put the dot there? You must. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was my, government, my next question. Yeah. Why the dot? Because it's a full stop and there's no <laughs> one after. It's, like, the B full stop. That's it. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. yeah. Do I have to do that? Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Um, now, uh, your first project that was out, what was it called? You had four songs on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I had four songs on it called Right Now. It was called Right Now, the first single out of it, Right Now as well. And you had other songs, Is Your Mind, Resolving Some Things. I mean, really resolving something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> resolving like, something. I'm listening to this lady miles. song. I'm like, what is going on here? It's so heavy. But you want to dance to it at the same time. That okay. Is, that is really nice. <laughs> so let's talk about the new project. How's what going on that? When what is it gonna be called? You have a title yet? I do not have a title yet. What? No. Oh my god! I... I'm just like still putting the songs together. I'm now making the cuts, but like I. How many songs are gonna be on this one? Do you know? I'm thinking at least four, but I'm hoping five. Okay. Yeah, I'm still like trying to piece that together, but I do not have a title yet. But I'm not bringing it out like. Uh, the way I did this one, because this was more so like an introduction. So like I did bring out like the four songs, but I'm thinking of like, you know. Singles? Yeah, let's have, so have that for a bit. So will there be, when is the first one coming out? You? I'm hoping before the end of this year. What? Yeah. Huh. I'm so like, I probably should have come here with like numbers and like spoilers, like, yes. <laughs> but like before the end of the year, like it's, ready i just wanted to hmm. come out so do you, do you know that of the songs you have ready which one is going to come out first yeah what's like, it called it's titled waiting waiting yeah okay yeah. All, right, all right all right but not waiting like waiting on someone like waiting like like waiting you know like waiting like what like what like waiting yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh okay is it going to be like a song you dance to or no, this is this is the sit down one. Too. Oh, that show. was our song. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember it now. Yeah. Okay, that was a good one. That was yeah. a good one. Why? How do you decide which you know the order you bring out your songs, especially now you're sending them out as singles? Well, I feel like the 
not just me but like even like the situation and the readiness and like just me even feeling like the world is ready to accept the message at that point and even this one it kind of felt like not necessarily like personal to me but like personal to the message that I felt like this year had which is my confusion with why there's just so much fighting and just so much anger and like it's just like I'm just like we can just oh you know be peaceful and just be happy and hug everybody but that's not really how the world is kind of yeah I mean we can all find a way to get along okay yeah is it gonna have a video I am hopeful <laughs> But nothing serious. Like, I have videos for, like, two other ones that I want to put more hmm. okay. fire behind versus right now. Waiting. But, like, I feel like we're getting into the winter and it's just, like, a very nice song to end the year with. Because that would be my first single of this year. So, yeah. I'm wow. excited. So much work. Yeah. So much work. Um... <laughs> Okay, with the new project that is currently untitled, even though you are coming out in singles, you're still going to put them together, right? Yeah, I'm still going to. When do you think to. that one will be ready? It's definitely going to be next year. Like, the singles, I'm not trying to, like, space them too far apart. If I, like, if I start, I just want it to flow. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, probably, like, mid-next year. Huh. Yeah. Summer, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Summer is a good time to release. I'm just saying. Hmm. Really? I mean, it's pretty... Because, like, that's when all the things are happening. Well, things are still happening, you know, festivals, well, things like that. it's snowing now, so... Everybody's, like, inside and... You know, you want to listen to, like, chill music. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of chill music. Okay. Uh, and it's the start of the year, too, very soon, so... Mm. <laughs> My brain is thinking. So, uh, the B... You you have kind of this body of work coming, mm -hmm. and you have these people that inspire you and stuff. What are some, I guess, aspirations you have for yourself? Like, like things you want to see. Where do you see the be getting to? Honestly, I don't like. I don't put nothing off, and I don't put right. nothing on. Like, gotcha. Just like not even to be on a pressure thing. Cause it's like this year I I opened for Black Bond. It's not something that I wrote into this year. I like gotcha. I was going to do like I didn't know Black Bond was coming here. Da, da, da. It's like the way it all happened was something that I was really appreciative like on my music journey. Cause it's like, well if I was back in Ninch, how easy would that have been or how hard would that have been? Or even like the way me releasing my project last year and it's like this year was just like a really good year for me. So I'm just like, you know what? And if I were to, I'm such a, um, like not giving yourself too much. Um, Props, I guess. So that way you kind of minimize if it disappointment. Happens, yeah. Kind of thing. So <laughs> That's actually not a bad way to go. I just, if it right happens, now, it happens. I just don't even like put that. Cause like sometimes I feel like I end up like, you know, minimizing than. what oh, I could potentially right, do. So I just like, you know. Gotcha. Talking about God. the Black Bones thing, how did it happen? <laughs> well, like, the organizer, like, reached out to, like, a couple of us, like myself, Fargo, and Rennie to open. And it was just, I don't know. It was not even something that I went looking for. Mm. So it was, like, really nice. That was yeah. a good show. Also, I freaking love that guy. He has a song. I keep talking about this song. Anyway, <laughs> it's like breaking the yoke of love. Do you yeah. know the video? I haven't seen the video. It's brilliant. You should really? check it out. But I've seen a couple of Black Bones videos now, and they're like proper nice. So I'm not, I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, I mean, you have every. Okay, no plan. If it happens, it happens, and you're gonna take it. Like in. not no plan. Like I'm like, obviously like working to put myself no in, no like, plans no 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 like hoping yeah, for something like, 25 I'll i'm get gonna like, kind of thing, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay um man i'm having so much fun chatting with you but i want to ask you this one though uh let you go with this question 
So what is it that you love about making music? Well, I really love like the vulnerability. Oh yeah, fuck, yes. There. Especially in your lyrics. Oh my god. <laughs> I really love that. I really love like the fact that I could like send a message because like that really means a lot to me. I love the fact that I could sing with people like in all the spaces, like to all the people that have put me, Music Nova Scotia, ECMAs, like that put me on, like I could sing to people, like, and people that are probably hearing like my music or like music like mine for like the first time and just like vibing to it and having a good time. It's just mm -hmm. like really nice. Like it's just such a nice feeling it to is do dope. that. Yeah. And I just love that, you know, it's like just, easy to connect with like i listen to music for like every single thing <laughs> i do like i shower i listen to music i work i what else eat i'm listening to music it's just like every other thing i'm doing it's like it's so i don't know music is life for you yeah it's just like wow there Anyway, talking about music is life, can I ask you to do us a massive favor and play out the show with one of your songs? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank I'll you. I'll play out the space so you can sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now is the right time for me. Make you watch out for me Yeah, they all shout for me They could tell you it's the best side Not the wayside, honey No, they waste time for me You know it's one side from here Well, on this side is the army On this side is the marching torches This side is the party On this side is the YOLO living This side is the loving this side is the tender loving This side, this side But on this side, you know they carry last 